Here's a fun little uh, LP grapher program, thanks to Stefan Warner at Hofstra University. Uh, taken our table and chair problem and inserted it into the program, and you'll notice that uh, we have a nice little graph here. But um, what if we extended this problem, and here's the solution, by the way, down here. What if we extended this problem and said, well, you need to make, you need to make as many chairs as tables. So we could insert this constraint that y now is chairs has to be greater than or equal to x. It might not let me do this, but uh, let's uh, see if we can solve it. I think what I have to do is actually put in minus x plus y is then greater than or equal to zero. Let's see the graph then. Right. And the new solution is at 8, 8. So notice that our value of the objective function dropped from 60, 66 to 56. Was that graph again? There it is. But uh, what if we said, instead of that, let's, let's say that you had to have at least four times as many chairs as tables. So the question is, should it be like this? Or should it be the reverse, like this? Okay, well, the way to figure that out is to, to check and say, well, if I make one table, I want to have at least four chairs. If I make two tables, I want to have at least eight chairs. So indeed, this is the correct way. But again, I'm going to put the minus 4x over on the other side. greater than or equal to zero on the right hand side. And now let's take a look at the graph. Okay, there's the graph. Uh, the solution is 2.666, 10.666, uh, with the value of the objective function 42.66. Well, what if it's not possible to have two-thirds of a table and two-thirds of a chair. Then we're in the realm of integer programming. So what I'd like to do there is pull up Excel. zero on the right hand side and that was a greater than or equal to constraint so let's go back to the uh, solver let me increase the font size here okay we'll go to solver Insert a new constraint. But this must be greater than equal to 
this. Say OK. Let's solve it once again. OK, there's our uh, 2 and 2 thirds, 10 and 2 thirds solution that we saw before. But uh, let's say that that's not acceptable. And let's add another constraint that our decision variables have to be integers, int, integers. Now I'll say OK. Now I'll solve it. So it goes to 2 and 11, 2 tables, 11 shares, profit of 41. Now I don't believe it will give us a sensitivity report, but let's try. Right. No sensitivity report if you have integer variables. That's it.